Hey guys, so it's update time and I have so much to share. I don't know, I don't actually plan what I'm going to share before I, before I update you. So this is like go with the flow moment. But um, this month has been incredible. I went on a mission trip. I went on a mission trip to Tennessee and I came back with a southern accent. I don't know if it's good, but it's a southern accent. <laughs> um, no, it was actually amazing. I went uh, to this place called Greenville, and I went to stay with uh, a group of, basically it's like a young people, um, young people's troubled youth center. Like pe young people, kids from the age of, nine, 10 to 18, um, who have gone through the worst, the worst of the worst of the worst. And I just like, it, it, it was incredible in the most unexpected of ways. I got to, I got to love on people who have basically never felt loved never been loved they've never been loved and um, we got to lead uh, some of the kids to Jesus and pray with them and you know every time they were crying and just so like wrecked by Jesus's love um, and all we did really was sharing share our stories like I don't even have a story that I thought they could relate to because I've I've not like lived through things you know I've 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 been protected I've grown up in the church I've known Jesus my whole life like I haven't been through prostitution and you know drug abuse and all the things they've been through um, but it's really just Jesus in me that they relate to and it's I don't know. It was really beautiful to see, to see that, to see, to see how it didn't take a, a dramatic story to impact their lives. It was literally just Jesus. Um, I think the biggest thing that I learned um, is once again a bit like my last, you know, Q and A session. It's one of the basic things that we should know and we do know them in our heads but we actually don't always understand what it means and um we we got like we got to listen to some stories some really cool stories from some of the missionaries um at the base there and one of them one of the couples called abel and nicole carico they shared their life story and it's incredible it's a story of surrender and it's just it's it's crazy like their 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 lives are just so laid down they they have said their yes to jesus but one of the things that really stood out to me was that when abel said yes jesus send me wherever you want me to go I'll do anything like just tell me where you want me to go and I'll go when Abel said that to Jesus he was not expecting Greenville um, and I think sometimes we romanticize the idea of missions and we think oh it looks like going to Africa to serve the poor and no like mission is literally what we do every day it's we're on a mission to love people like jesus loves people and we don't need to romanticize it and so uh, abel said yes to jesus and then jesus asked him if he would stay in greenville and at this time it wasn't even a young people's home like it was it was this small baptist church where they didn't believe in holy spirit and they just you know I mean, they did good, but they didn't really know much. And Abel knew a lot, but he he decided to say yes. And he said yes, but it didn't look like much. And I think we, we sometimes wait for God to call us to something huge, when actually sometimes he just wants you to say yes to the little things. And you will find joy in the things that are little. And this is not a little thing. You know what I mean? But sometimes we think it has to look like um, something really huge. 
when it's not it's not it doesn't need to look like something big it just needs to look like obedience um, and so that was my update for the month of March and I hope I put into words it's hard to put into words uh, everything I experienced but um, it's definitely place something in my spirit that I don't think I quite have in my mind yet it's like um, just an impartation I received and it's been really good so yeah thank you guys love you lots sending you big hugs and see you soon